What is up, Star Citizens? Whether you're a veteran or a noob, you will eventually find yourself with a crime stat. Tired of dodging the UEE to avoid going to prison? Well, fear no more. I'm Blaster's Dad, and today I'm going to show you how to clear your crime stat. Without wasting your time or mine, let's get started. Now there's several places you can go to clear a crime stat, but we're going to do one on Hurston. And you're going to be looking for the Security Depot Hurston-1. You can do this solo, but I would recommend getting a buddy to help you out with this. Uh, you're going to start flying in here, start seeing pips pop up. Those are the turrets you're going to have to knock out. Uh, I've actually got a buddy that showed up right before me, so he's shooting at him at the same time right now. And there's two turrets, so looks like he got the first one knocked out. Now we'll start on the second one here. Use missiles. Oh, okay, he's got it down. And then you want to just make your way around to the entrance over here. All right, safe landing in front of the entrance. Got a ramp that you can see. That's how you know you're in front of the entrance. You want to go and shut your engines off first before your power. Uh, it creates a bug if you leave your engines on and it can cause some glitches and such. So go ahead and hop on out of your aircraft here. And the first thing you want to do is get all set up. So go ahead and uh, pull up your equipment manager. I always start by making sure my rifle's all equipped. I've got any attachments I want to equip with that as well. Make sure you got your sidearm. Then I always like to go over, make sure I've got my crypto keys all equipped. And then, of course, make sure you got your med pens equipped as well. If you get shot, you're going to need to run back, use one of those, and uh, revitalize before you continue. So we're just going to go up to the entrance here. You want to be armed and ready. On top of the NPCs, there could be other players in here trying to clear crime stats as well. You want to come in here to the elevator, and you want to press the button, go down to the subfloor. It's going to take you down, come down this uh, elevator shaft here, and then you want to turn around and make sure you're ready when you land in case there are other players. If there's no other players, you're going to continue, and your first set of NPCs are going to be up here around the corner on your right. There's usually about five or six in here. There's one. Here's a second one here, if I could get a shot on them. Not the best aim, <laughs> as you can tell. Creep around the corner here. And remember, I do have my buddy with me, so he's got my back as well. Basically sweeping the area one section at a time. Looks like there's one right behind here. There we go. And they are not the best shot. Uh, so you don't have to be super skilled to do this. But looks like you got the third guy. There's number four. And then there's one more. There's a fifth one over here. He's shooting at him now. Okay. Come around. Yeah, so that's five total. There should be one more. There's usually five or six. There might be some down in the floors below. We basically want to make our way around. And then just follow the steps down. He's just going to hop the rail, but I'll go around this way. All the steps down. Come over here. Be prepared. They spawn in different areas sometimes, so they're never in the same spot. And kind of peek around this corner here. Just keep your guard up as you're coming through. Check all areas. Oh, yeah. Looks like there's one over here, and he's just kind of walking towards the wall. And that's six. And okay, he said there's none over there, so looks like area is clear, and we're gonna continue back here towards the computers so we can uh, put in our crypto keys, and that is what clears your crime stat. If you're not familiar with what a crypto key is, they can be purchased at some of the ports, some of the cities. 
Um, there's different types. There's slow ones, there's fast ones. I personally like the Tiger's Claw or the Rippers. They're the fastest and most reliable. Um, so you can see he put his uh, card in and he's starting to clear his crime stat now. It's going to ask you a series of questions. While he's doing that, I'm going to guard the door because there could be other players that want to come in here to clear a crime stat or kill us for a bounty. So you always want to, if you're working with a group or another teammate, you want to walk towards the uh, elevator shaft and guard that. Keep the elevator down. That way, if the elevator goes up, you know there's some players coming in. So I'm just going to make my way around here, back to the elevator shaft, up the stairs, and then we take a right right here. And this will bring us right back to the elevator shaft. And it's still down. I'm just going to guard this until he taps me out. We'll go ahead and fast forward. Okay, he's coming around. And he should give me the signal that we're good to go. Okay, he's giving me the signal. We're going to go back and we're going to clear my crime stat now. If you're working with a teammate, you always want to clear the highest crime stat first uh, because there's going to be a bigger bounty for that player. So you clear that crime stat and then you'll clear the lower crime stats in sequence after that. So come down here, go up to the computer here. <clears throat> Sometimes equipping a crypto key can be a little tricky. You have to do it twice. But anyway, select your crypto key and press F and look at this. It'll say insert. Pop the crypto key in there. It's going to say crypto, crypto key initiated. Once it's finished doing that, it's going to basically go through this uh, time lapse where it's like loading. And you can see the little sections here. It's going to eventually make you continue. This is part of the reliability of the cards. I sped through this just so you don't have to sit here for the whole process because it's quite a uh, long process. Now it says system granted and now you can go in here and start clearing your crime stats off. So we're at a level three crime stat right now. Once it pulls up your records you can see you've got homicide, homicide, trespassing. Just go ahead and click on each individual charge and then it's going to clear each individual charge. So this is the time consuming part. Again always look on your back side just make sure no one's coming down the hall. Um, I'm in communication with my partner here, so uh, we've got it covered. But if you're doing this mission solo, you do want to be watching your back the whole time. The last thing you want is to get this far and then someone come in and shoot you while you're trying to get this done. So I'm going to speed this up here. Now remember, this process does take quite a bit. This isn't just a quick little five minute ordeal. You're going to be here 15, 20 minutes trying to clear these records out. So just be prepared for that. And another thing, it's going to ask you a reason for dismissal. Just pick one of the reasons. No reason in particular matters more than another. They all work. And then once you come into the end, you always want to make sure you log out. You don't want any hackers stealing your information over here. And you're all done. Criminal database clear. Now we'll just make our way out. Just take a right here, another right. And then I just follow the stairwells. Here it is up on our left. And keep running through here. My buddy's guarding the elevator, so there shouldn't be anything to worry about. But if there was an NPC we didn't see earlier, you, you want to be ready for that as well. Sometimes they're hiding in little weird spots, and then they just pop out of nowhere. But once you uh, get the initial five or six down, they do not respawn. You just got to worry about if there was an extra one lingering around somewhere. All right, so we're making our way back up to the elevator shaft. And give him the signal. Let's go. Get back on the elevator shaft. Press the button. Get up to the surface. And it's still not over. Like I said, there could be some other players coming in to clear crime stats or get a bounty on you. Now that you're crime stat is removed uh, you will not show up as a red player anymore so as soon as it clears it on the computer it goes to blue immediately so you are not a red player um, so you just walk out here just in case anybody pops up and just wants to shoot you for fun just be ready once you get outside just hop in your spaceship and get on out of here
Hey guys, if you thought this video was helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or subscribe. I will be coming out with more content, and that'll keep me motivated to make more content and tutorials for you. Thanks for watching.